What's going on? Is it really zoomed? Yep. Oh no. <laughs> Don't do that. It's good. Okay. If you could use only three words to describe St. Melanie's, what would they be? Best place ever. What makes you grateful for St. Melanie's house? Um, I just love that the Orthodox community wants to facilitate the growth of, of Orthodox families and um, wants to help people raise children to be pious and serve the church or something. What makes St. Melania's feel like home? It's a very cozy place with all the paintings. It feels like a place that um, you could have a lot of childhood memories from. Why do you think they chose St. Melanie as the patron of the house? I was talking to Father Gregory once. I was telling him about my mom, whose name is Melania, and he forgot about St. Melania, and he was reminded of St. Melania's story. And then a few weeks later, they bought the house and they named it St. Melania, so I asked him, you know, my mom's name's Melania, and he was like, well, yeah, you reminded me of such a great saint. So, and she was the patron saint uh, well, she is the patron saint of married couples, and she was very learned in scripture. What are you the most grateful about St. Melanie's house? <laughs> that we get to live here. That our child will be born uh, and have its first steps here. Uh, and that we get to continue our studies uh, without having to worry about how we're going to make ends meet because of the very generous donations that, that everybody sends. <laughs> Why are you grateful for St. Melanie's house? Uh, I'm grateful for St. Melanie's house because I have to go around and talk to people around the country who are considering seminary, and a lot of them who have families have the obstacle of, um, you know, not knowing where they're going to be able to find a place to live in Aetna if they come, and especially something affordable. And this is such a small community, so it's really competitive. And uh, St. Melanie's is so, so affordable for the families that come. And I'm really excited every time I get to tell them that. We're so grateful and so excited that we have St. Melanie's Married Student House as a resource to offer to families um, that want to come and study at the seminary to deepen in their own faith and to serve the church. Last year, people were so generous with their response and in over $85,000 was raised, leaving just $100,000 on the mortgage. We had a family reach out and pledge $25,000. They were so excited about a young family. You know, two of our seminarians who got married are now starting their family and they wanted to continue, both of them wanted to continue their studies at the seminary. And they were just so excited about the opportunity to be able to support young people. Um, that are, are growing in their faith and want to serve the church, that they challenged the seminary to try to pay down the entire mortgage. Um, so there's $100,000 left, and they challenged the seminary that if, if we are able to raise, with your help, $75,000, they've pledged the remaining $25,000. Any amount of support, um, $50, is equal to one day of mortgage payments. So, and every day counts. Please, I ask of you that you help the seminary, uh, you know, answer the call, so to speak, to rise up to the challenge and, and raise $75,000 by the end of the year. And with God's grace, we'll be able to pay off the entire mortgage and we'll have St. Melanie's house. Thank you and may God bless you.